so I, I remember hearing ting, and I knew, oh shit. And within a split second, I was face down. Mm. But having heard that ting, I knew, not good. And um, and then yeah, you know, like as I mentioned, it's it's all clear. It's it's all so clear. It's it's amazing. You know, when I was lying in the dirt, I could see my legs were gone. And I raised my camera to try to take a few pictures to record to record the moment to to try and make a photographic record of it, which is what I do. I mean, I've always done that instinctively. People get shot next to me. The first thing I do is take a picture. Um, so in my own case, when I'm <laughs> lying in the dirt, legs gone. It's exactly what I, what I try to do. And I managed to get to three frames. And my wrist, for some strange reason, hurt so much that I, I dropped the camera down, and um, and that's the only pain I, re I recall. Mm -hmm. You know, because I went on after taking pictures, I went on to call my wife. I actually called my wife while I was lying in the dirt, and I let her know that I'd been hurt. Did I went. You, was it from a mobile? No, we had a satellite phone with okay. us. Okay. Um, so I wanted her to hear it from me, my voice first day, and at least, you know, at least she's hearing my voice. I'm not dead. I might be pretty seriously damaged, which I was. But I was it alive. Is it worth it? Was it worth losing my legs? I don't have the answer for that one yet. Um, was it worth all the risks that I took? Um, everything that I've experienced, good, bad? Um, yes. Yes. Um, what we do individually or collectively is, um, is very important. I think we play an important role in society. And, um, and I've always been pretty clear about that um, and it's helped it's helped over the years kind of um, just in a way make sense of all of it you know um, having clarity as to why you do it does help just kind of dealing with a lot of the stuff that you witness a lot of the hard stuff that you witness you know in in, in my case going back to the very early part of my career you know, not only did we, we witness death and in a mass scale, but in some cases you actually witness death happening in front of you. Um, you know, people being killed right in front of you. You know, all that kind of stuff. And so it, you know, it, you know, it goes through the head, through the lens, and it, it it burns itself into your into your cranium, and it stays there. You know, it's it's there forever. It doesn't go away. But it helps to it helps to have understanding why you do it. And once you have that kind of clarity. It does make it easier to just have an understanding of what actually is happening around you. I mean, you are recording history. You are trying to take a message out to to the world. You're trying to um, <coughs> show the realities of war to people who are fortunate enough not to live in a war zone. You know, and I think I think that is important. I don't know if we necessarily change the world, but uh, I've always maintained, and I'm sure people are tired of hearing me say this, but I've always maintained that if you change one single person's mind, you've accomplished something. Stupid politicians make me angry. Um, decisions, stupid decisions that cost the lives of innocent people, and that makes me angry, you know. Um, the state of the world right now makes me angry. A lot of things make me angry. I don't think there's, I don't know, I, have, I don't think I have any pet hate, um, anything that puffs, puffs me off on a daily basis. No, not really, but on a more kind of broader yeah stupid people politicians that whose decisions result in a lot of people dying that makes me angry what makes you really really happy my kids my family motorcycles <laughs> yeah my uh, my close-knit group of friends yeah all those things make me happy the things that are worth living for those are the things that make me happy